Brands New Black officially got started maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Two weeks ago, yeah. To uh, bring minorities and those that are unfamiliar with what it, what it means to exactly be green, uh, the green efforts, and uh, everything dealing with sustainability. The things that we're trying to do is um, break the stereotype on what it means to be green. You know, if you don't know, then you, you don't ask. And so we really want to bridge that gap that there, there is between the knowledge of what, what being green means and uh, <clears throat> what it actually is. The project is uh, growing. I feel like I'm growing as a person. Um, personally, I didn't really know much about the green movement. So as I'm working with uh, Green is a New Black, I'm learning that recycling is important, that I need to watch what I eat. Why this cardboard isn't compostable? stuff in it and on it. So whenever you're recycling and stuff, you have to make sure that you empty your trays, that you take all the food off of it, and then recycle it. Because then if not, it's just considered trash, and it'll get thrown away. School's like, what's this dumpster thing? Who is this dumpster professor? What's going on? We've even had people wanting to like live in it. We're gonna live in it for, yeah. for some days. Not the whole time, but. <laughs> At some point. Here's what about Kwame and HD. Right? We, we have not owned any sort of identity or made a broader name for ourselves. It's a lot to capture people's attention. So for somebody to be like, what, somebody's living in a dumpster? They're actually going to read on it. Be a part of something that I can look back on. Like my school, this is something that we're not students. I mean, we're a family here. <laughs> I'm